Is it worth it? Should you invest the initial cost to start making e-liquids? Hopefully this video will highlight some benefits of making your own e-liquids. It will be listed starting with the things that I think are the most important and if you think I've missed anything drop a comment below. Money. This is probably the main reason for you deciding to make e-liquid. So do you save money? The short answer is yes, but eventually. Problem is the initial cash layout for the stuff you need. Now this isn't too bad in my opinion as depending on how fast you burn through your liquids, you could have your money back within a few weeks. I did a calculation earlier and found it cost me about £2 on average to make a 30ml bottle of e-liquid, which is quite a different from the £15 premium liquids. That did include all of my uh, safety equipment I used and the bottles. Controlling what goes in. So there's been a lot of concern over the diketones within some flavourings. Annoyingly, a lot of premium e-liquid companies don't disclose whether their liquids contain these compounds. The bottles just say it contains flavourings. However, this isn't a problem if you make your own liquids as you can pick and choose the flavourings without these compounds in, so i.e. Capella's version 2 flavourings. As I mentioned in the first video, most premium companies only make a flavour in one PG to VG ratio. If you make your own e-liquids, you can happily adjust this to suit your needs. Nicotine levels. Okay, so we're all familiar with the typical 0mg, 3mg, 6mg nicotine levels. But what happens if you wanted to wean your way off slowly and say have like a 1.5mg per milliliter nicotine level? Well, you can't do that with premium liquids, so some people have uh, got off nicotine by making their own liquids and slowly reducing the amount of in their liquids over a period. Hobby. Personally, I enjoy being sat down and just mixing liquids. Many people do this as a hobby, and it can be very rewarding to spend months working on your own flavour for it to finally come good. You don't have to try and create your own recipes, as the community is amazing and some of the recipes posted online are simply phenomenal. There are a few bad points to mixing your own e-liquids. It does take time to mix, especially at first when you're a bit slow. Additionally, you'll need to be careful when handling nicotine to make sure you have a safe space in which to mix that's away from both children and pets. Remember to always follow the safety procedures and laws of your country when doing so. If you're safe, you'll be fine. I think one of the main reasons people don't want to mix though is this irrational fear of it being too difficult and frustrating to do. The aim of this channel is to make it as simple as possible. I am making a series of videos of what recipes from the community I think are best, so you won't have to faff about trying to discover that for yourself, making crap recipes. With this said, however, there is still a bit of trial and error involved, as there is with anything that's subjective like taste. Keep an eye on my channel, thanks for watching.